Mike's field trip to the movies is a really important event for the Santa Barbara International Film Festival. How does it feel to see 1,500 kids <laughs> watching your film? <laughs> well, I have to say it's, a, it's an honor. I was just sent, sent a video of the crowd, and they seem pretty rowdy. And so it's very exciting, and I have to admit, somewhat intimidating. <laughs> um, how can film inspire these young minds? Oh my gosh, that's a great question. I mean, growing up, I love to draw. I love to tell stories. I used to make little stop motion films with my dad, and, and it was always really encouraged. You know, they, my, my parents were very supportive. I had great art teachers along the way. So if I can do anything to encourage those kids out there that want to express themselves, then I'm, I'm all for it. Great. Um, what do you love most about interacting with children? Oh and, my and seeing their reactions and, and uh, knowing their futures are ahead of them. Wow. Well, I have two kids of my own, and, uh, and, and they're amazing. And, and they, they both, especially my younger one, have, have a really artistic side. Mm -hmm. And uh, there's just something so pure about the reaction. You know, it's, it's undistilled. There's no, there's no sense of them trying to put up any kind of facade. You get, you get honesty, and I really cherish that. Absolutely. We're just out there watching the film just now, and the way they cheer and grow. You're right. It's spontaneous. It's yes. right there. Yes. Um, can you talk a little bit about the journey of bringing the sea bees to the screen? Oh, my gosh. Well, it's a story that I've been wanting to tell for a very long time. When I was a kid, I grew up loving the, the big action adventure stories. So my favorite movie as a kid growing up was King Kong, mm -hmm. and I love Raiders of the Lost Ark and Clash of the Titans and those big epic genre films and and I've been working in animation for 30 years now and and I always wanted to I always wondered if you could tell a story like that in animation and I was given an opportunity to uh, to give it a go and and the rest is history I can hear it now <laughs> <laughs> absolutely well what's next for you well I'm actually working on a couple things one is a potentially a, a sequel to the sea beast okay uh, so it's a good timing we're just starting and uh, and also thinking about an original fantasy story as well uh, can you give us a little hint about it? Well, yeah, I mean, I, I've always loved like the, the real pure big stories, like the, the Lord of the Rings kind of uh, fantasy adventure story. <laughs> and and I always wanted to tell a story that would sort of be in a world like that. But I've also really, one of my favorite movies growing up was Princess Bride. Okay. And, and I love that there's sort of a playful point of view on some of those uh, tropes. And so I would love to tell a story like that. Well, great. Well, we've got something to look forward to. <laughs> Hopefully, yes. Congratulations on the Sea Beast. Thank you very much. Thank Thanks you. for having me.